Hello everyone, Blue Cody here, a current supervisor and a somewhat longtime member of the Minecraft Greenfield build team. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a tutorial with you guys. One of the most common questions we as a staff team get, both on the Discord server and on Planet Minecraft, is how to download and install the world and the texture pack. So that is what I'm going to be going through with you guys today. Uh, we're going to jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is head on over to the Planet Minecraft link to download Greenfield if you haven't already. Um, that link will be in the description, but it is on Planet Minecraft. Once you're on that page, we're already there. You're going to want to go ahead and click this little blue button right here. Go ahead and click it. This will take you to the Mediafire page. You can leave Planet Minecraft, that's alright. Go ahead and click continue, and this will take you to the Mediafire page. This is quite simple. Please do not click on any of these ads. They are not what you want. You all, The only thing you want is this little green button up here. Go ahead and click it and you can go ahead and close any pop-ups that pop up. As you can see, the world download should start down here. If it doesn't, uh, click repair download. That will take you through instructions on how to do that. But if your world is downloading, you can just leave it be. Greenfield is quite massive, clocking in at about 605 megabytes. Uh, so it will take a while to download, um, but we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to finish. Um, for me, I have already downloaded it, so we're gonna go ahead and cancel. Uh, you don't need to do that because you want to download the world. But if yours has already finished downloading, you will know because it will say it will just sit down there like that. You can go ahead and close out of Google Chrome, excuse me, excuse me Google Chrome, and we're going to go ahead and install the world. Head on over to your downloads. Now, as you can see, I do have that pinned right here. Um, but if you need help finding your downloads folder, just go to this PC. It will look like this, and go ahead and click Downloads. It will be right here, and we're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to check, take a look at all the files inside. The first up is the Greenfield 0.5.3 folder. This is the world download. That is what, excuse me, that is the world save. That is what we're going to be looking at today. Next up is the warp files. These are all the warps. Um, if you ever want to load Greenfield onto a uh, multiplayer server, uh, this is warps um, to help you navigate around the city on a server. They won't work for single player, so you can ignore those if you're just going to be playing Greenfield on single player. Next up is the HD overview. This is a lovely map of the city that will help you uh, navigate around. You can see uh, warps are marked in red, and that will just help you navigate around if you ever get lost. Uh, next up is the texture pack. This is another file we're going to be looking at, and we're going to be paying close attention to. And finally, we have the readme. Um, this is all included. It is basically a description. You can see we have some credits down here, um, some links, some YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, a whole bunch of fun things that you're going to want to check out after you download Greenfield. But the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this world file. Go ahead and right-click it and click Copy. And the next up, excuse me, the next thing we're going to want to do is head on over to the .minecraft folder. If you don't know how to do that, that is fine. We're going to go ahead and press the Start menu, like so. Go ahead and press Percent and type App Data. Like I said, we're heading over to the .minecraft folder. Go ahead and hit Enter. And as you can see, .minecraft is right up top. Go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of folders in here. Excuse me, the one you want is the saves folder. Go ahead and open that up and simply right click on the side here and click paste. And it will take a while to paste. After all, it is a massive, massive file. I do have an SSD right here, um, very fast Samsung SSD, and even for me, it is taking a long, long time, so just be warned about this. If you have something like a hard drive, it will take even longer. Now, while this is transferring, I wanted to go over a really quick thing. This is the instructions on how to do it for Windows. It is different for both Mac OS and Linux. The Greenfield YouTube channel will have a video coming very shortly on how to do that on Mac OS and Linux, but for now, we're just going to be doing Windows. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish. And once it's finished, you should see that it is right here and ready to go. The next thing we're going to be transferring is the texture pack. This is very easy as well. Go ahead and select it. Hit right click. Press copy once again. And head on over to the resource packs. That is right here. Also in the .minecraft folder. Your resource packs folder is right here. Go ahead and open it. As you can see, I have a bunch of texture packs in here. We're going to ignore those. I'm just going to right click again and click paste. As you can see now, the texture pack and the world is now installed, like so. Now to double check that everything is working fine, we're going to go ahead and launch up Minecraft. 
We're going to go ahead and click play. I'm sure you know how to do this. Wait for it to load up here. Give it one moment, and as you can see, I do have the Greenfield Texture Pack already turned on, but what your world is going to look like, excuse me, what your game is going to look like, looks like this. As you can see, it's just the normal 1.15 background. Go ahead and click Options, click Resource Packs, and right down here, you'll see the Greenfield Texture Pack. Now, I have a whole bunch of textures. Yours may be up here. That's fine. Go ahead and load it up. It will say it's incompatible if you're on 1.15. That's fine. It will still work. You can load this resource pack. Go ahead and click done. It will load up the resource pack. And as you can see, the background has changed. And if we go back to the home screen, it's Greenfield. Now to go ahead and load up the world, make sure everything is fine there. You're going to go ahead and click single player. And Greenfield 0.5.3 should be right up at the top, like so. Click play selected world. Um, if you're on 1.15, Greenfield is made for 1.14.4, as said by Minecraft. Um, since you can do what you want here, you can go ahead and click backup or, or load. Or I'm just going to do I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and load it up here. And you will see that both Greenfield and the texture pack has been fully applied. And as you can see, we're now in the town hall, like so. And as you can see, these are not Minecraft textures. These are Greenfield's textures. So that means that we have the official resource pack all loaded up and ready to go. And we're in the Greenfield town hall. Uh, right there's me. And as you can see, when we fly out here, that, yippee, we're, we're in Greenfield. Everything has been completed and you are ready to go and have hours and hours of enjoyment in the city with the texture pack installed and the world all ready to go if you want to go ahead and destroy something you can do that it is all up to you as you can see i believe there we go as you can see you can destroy it if you ever mess up the world too much you can go ahead and copy it over again that's the wonder of this you can just copy it again and head over to your dot minecraft folder like instructed and just paste it in again it's great that way but as always, I really hope this tutorial helped you guys figure out how to do this. If you have any more further questions, please feel free to post them on the Discord server or on Planet Minecraft. The staff team is always willing to help you guys. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.